Hi foodies, let's get into this barbecue. So I'm starting off with the back ribs. Of course I removed the silver skin, that's that thin membrane underneath. And then I'm going to put some mustard and barbecue sauce all over the ribs. This is going to provide some moisture but it's also going to allow those dry seasonings to stick to the ribs. So brush that all over and then we're going to sprinkle on our barbecue seasoning. If you don't have any mustard at home, you could use a little oil, but the mustard and the barbecue together, trust me, lots of flavor and it definitely allows the seasonings to stick to the ribs. Then I'm going to sprinkle my barbecue seasoning all over. It's a mixture of spices. I will leave the details in the description, all right? So we're gonna sprinkle it all over, but remember to leave half of it for the other half of the ribs, all right? So sprinkle it all over on both sides, under, over, every crevice you can think of, and press it into the ribs, okay? but I cut the rib in half, so remember to leave some of the seasoning for the other piece. So I'm just pressing it in because I find that when I do it like this, less of it comes off on my hand. So instead of rubbing it in today, I'm just pressing it in so it sticks to the barbecue sauce and the mustard. All right, then we're gonna fold the foil wrap and just create kind of a packet for the ribs. This is gonna allow it to stay nice and moist, keep that steam in. And if you want to, you can just put the grill, put the rib right on the grill. But today I'm using the foil packets just to keep that steam in, okay? I find that whenever I cut the rib in half, it cooks faster and it also allows you to use, you know, two different sauces if you want to. So if you wanted one of the pieces to be a spicy um, barbecue rib then you could do that and then do something else for the other one but it's up to you you can leave the whole thing intact if you prefer and just to do your foil packet so next piece i do the same thing brush on the mustard and the barbecue sauce then sprinkle on the barbecue seasoning now, of course, it's always better to season overnight, but if this is a last minute decision and you wake up that morning and you want to do the ribs, then what you can do is use a sharp, small knife just to prick some tiny slits into the rib before you season it, and that will allow the seasoning to penetrate it even more. So, mustard and barbecue sauce, then put on your dry powdered seasoning, and then you can wrap it up in the foil packet. So these are good to go. Moving on to the chicken, I have some leg quarters and to this I added some fresh thyme, some browning, some jerk, wet seasoning, and some dry seasoning. All of this will be in the description box below, okay? You wanna rub all of this into the chicken, go under the skin. You can also prick it all over. Prick the, um, not the skin side, but the other side prick it all over just for the seasoning to penetrate it okay rub all of this in you can marinate this for 24 hours if you don't have the time you can do it in the morning and do your grilling in the evening okay All right, guys, so I have a gas grill. I'm just gonna brush on some oil. I already did, but I'm putting on a little more. On the left, I have medium heat, 
and then those two burners on the right those are low so what i want to do today is i want to get a little color on the chicken first okay so i'm going to cook it on both sides maybe five to ten minutes just to get some color and i'm going to put the ribs over there on the low side all right so the chicken is on the left over the medium heat i'm just going to get some color on the chicken and then i'm going to flip so color on both sides and then after that guys i am going to lower the heat so all burners will be on low okay so because this is a gas grill sometimes the heat can be a little uneven but that's okay just keep an eye on the grill and make sure the chicken doesn't burn if you're doing your jerk chicken of course you want it to be you know nice and dark on the outside but not too burnt so after i get that color the whole grill has low heat now you're going to cover this and cook it for an hour while it's cooking you can baste it with some chicken broth or you can spritz it with some red stripe bear or your favorite bear okay and then for the last 15 minutes i'm going to brush on this sweet pimento ketchup it's so so good so this is the last 15 minutes brush on your sauce all over just to get that last um, bit of color and flavor in there okay so at this point guys the chicken is almost done i'm just putting on this sauce for the last 15 minutes and then for the ribs we will check that out in a bit so this is what we did I got some color on the chicken both sides then cooked it for about an hour so it's almost an hour now over low heat while it's cooking every 10 to 15 minutes you can flip it and spritz it with some chicken broth or some bear um, whatever bear you like and then now for the last 15 minutes of cooking i take the cover off the grill and i brush on this sauce you can use your favorite sauce so after that now the chicken is going to be done and i will put it on the the top rack i'm using um, a bunch of thyme sprigs as my brush because you know extra flavor you can use a regular brush also okay so after this put the chicken on the top rack so it can remain warm but at least it's not touching the direct heat so it stays nice and moist okay most times if I'm grilling I just use my eyes to be honest as a judge but what you can do is use a thermometer and check for 165 degrees Fahrenheit if you are you know doubtful about the internal temperature because you want to make sure the food you're eating is safe to eat so you can use your thermometer and check make sure the internal temperature is at least 165 so we can move the chicken from the grill because it's thoroughly cooked and then what we're gonna do is check out the barbecue ribs okay so take it out of the packet you can turn up the heat or if you want to you could just find the hottest part of the grill and put the ribs over there so take them out of the packets put them directly on the grill you can grill some corn if you want to I did some corn and I brushed it with butter and thyme and a little garlic and salt and pepper so that's what's in that little bowl there and I just brush it on the corn while it cooks as for the barbecue ribs you're just gonna put on your favorite barbecue sauce and then you are going to get some color on the ribs at this point so to recap for the ribs we did low temperature for almost an hour and then we took it out of the packets and when we're gonna brush on the barbecue sauce put this on medium to high heat to get that color get some more caramelization going on brush on as much sauce as you want okay Sometimes you don't want to waste the sauce on the grill, so you brush on some, get that caramelization going on, and then right before you serve, you can add some more sauce on top, okay? So this is the chicken, guys. I just kept it 
nice and warm in that foil wrap I chopped it up just like we would back home for jerk chicken and this is the barbecue ribs okay and I'm gonna brush on some more sauce and that's it pretty simple guys so guys if you don't have a smoker and you just have a gas grill you can definitely make some delicious chicken and ribs so give it a try come back and let me know what you think I will see you next time